I am Jesse Pindos, the court jester, and you are watching Rec TV. <laughs> Okay, Pigeons from Hell, a.k.a. Revenge of the Good Feathers from Animaniacs. Uh, it's a seriously though, it's actually uh, an adaption of a story uh, written in the 30s by, uh, by Robert E. Howard of uh, Conan fame. Uh, the barbarian, not the comedian. Uh, so, anyway, uh, having never read the original story, I uh, can't really compare the two, but anyway, this this comic should be fine for uh, any horror fan. Though I have to admit, horror is not a genre that I regularly read. Uh, but anyway, the plot is that a group of college-age friends, uh, from what I've read, uh, this comic changed the. The protagonist's names from the original story, but anyway, they uh, they spend the night in a haunted house, which uh, belonged to the protagonist's ancestors. Anyway, I I found it to be uh, a standard haunted house story. Uh, having said that, it's effectively creepy. Anyway, the uh, the story's very eerie tone is greatly enhanced by uh, Nathan Fox's artwork. And he seems to be a really natural choice for, the, for this comic, uh, best known for uh, the Horn series. And he, he's, he grew up in the South, and he's familiar with classic horror films, his favorites including Friday the 13th and Alien. He was actually, uh, he never got into comics until, until his college years. Although he was an illustration major, and uh, he is going to uh, start uh, an MFA in visual narrative uh, in the fall with the School of Visual Arts. So, any, so anyway, uh, regular horror readers should enjoy this fine. Uh, it has all the classic horror elements, uh, strange looking creatures, suspense, violence, death. Um, as, as I said though, horror is for a lot of people, but just not too much for me. Though, the, I, though I have to admit this was pretty solid storytelling. But anyway, certainly respect the, the talent of both Fox and Lansdale and Howard, who wrote the original story. Having said that, where's Casper when you need him? <laughs>